Theo, by far you are one of the most entertaining players on the court and also off the court. So mm -hmm. you're ready to look at some of your top posts on your social media platforms. Let's, let's do it. First one. All right. You have a highlight reel on the court and also <laughs> court side, man. Yeah, I mean, it's like a trickle effect. I, I started the season just dancing and having a good time, celebrating when my teammates did well, and the older guys they came and followed right behind me. And I know J Jared Dudley, he was like, I would have never thought I'd be on the bench doing this with you in, in a million years in the league. So it was, it was fun. It was a fun year. And, and somehow I'll never forget, really. Yeah, that's one of the best parts about this sport that you play is that you yeah. do get to have all that fun. Mm -hmm. And just the energy, it's so contagious, you yeah, know what I mean? Like, definitely. It adds so much to the mental factor, whether mm -hmm. it's on the court or just hanging out with your friends. Definitely. You know, like everybody needs a friend like you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, that's that's my whole outlook on it. Just understanding that we play in a game that we love since we was little, you know what I'm saying? We play the game, we get paid now, but we still need to have fun playing there at the same time. So. I think that helps people play better. And we saw our Yes Network sideline reporter, Michael Gray. Yes. He got some moves too. You guys were in sync with each other. Yeah, I was shocked. <laughs> I was shocked that he did that well. Hey, he's so a smooth proud of guy. He's yeah. smooth. <laughs> he is. He is. I was very shocked though. And here you are. You So you really do bring it everywhere with yeah. it. And this looks like it was a fun photo shoot. Yeah. I didn't even oh. do this. They they made that. I didn't even do this one. But Karis and Spence came to me like, Theo, we saw this, bro, Brooklyn put out a picture of you. Spence thought the same thing. It Spence looks was like, like yes. Yeah. Spence like, when did you go do this? And I honestly think everyone on my page think I actually did a photo shoot. <laughs> yes. I think everyone oh, think man. I did a photo shoot. That's and that was great. literally just, they photoshopped that. The city of New York and all the boroughs, they need people looking like this yeah. on the subway more often. <laughs> like they need this type of energy. Facts. <laughs> So, oh my God! DJ Webstar, yes. saw you jamming out during the college days this uh -huh. track, and uh, you've always had this dancing in you. Yes, always, always. <laughs> I just remember this night we was all at uh, my boy Nate Britt's crib, and uh, Kendall came over as you see him in the back, and we was just watching TV and we were just playing old school music. Well, Kendall only listens to old school music, so he played that on me and Joel. Heard it. We start. I think we danced to that song three times in a row. <laughs> and we just made videos. I probably still got videos from that night on my phone right now. And they still play it at the clubs too. So oh, this all is the time. You, you could use yeah. this anytime with me now, man. That's a great song. <laughs> so we haven't known each other very long. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that this picture encompasses you perfectly. Yeah. I think if anybody that knows me or known about me, they're just like, that's just Theo. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, we wouldn't see him any other way. Mm -hmm. But I just, like I told you before, I mean, I just like to have a good time. Mm -hmm. I mean, just just embrace every moment, especially you don't know how long you'll be on this earth, so try to enjoy every moment you can. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the best videos <laughs> that you put out. <laughs> Pulling up. <laughs> Pull up. <laughs> I forgot how long we did this, and I don't know how we did it, but that was, we had, I think it lasted for like a whole summer, maybe longer. And we had kids coming to coaches camp. Like, Theo, pull up, pull up. <laughs> they wanted us to do it all the time. Oh, uh, it was it was fun though. It you was fun while it lasted. Man. Yeah, it was fun. You saw you doing it in the college dorm halls too? Yes. <laughs> the funniest one was in the elevator with all the boys. That was funny. I gotta find that one. Yeah, that was funny. It was me, Kennedy, Nate, Joel. It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> So many, 99.9% of your yeah, photos. I'm smiling. <laughs> you gotta zoom in, man. I know. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, I'm over here matching Joel in the back. We just chilling. <laughs> this is great. So were you not smiling on purpose? I don't know what I was doing, honestly. I think I was just trying to look cute. <laughs> you had the same look on the plane, too. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but this is pretty baller, man. Championship vibes. Yeah, man. What's better than that? <laughs> yeah, championship vibes. The funniest part, my boy Joel, he lays chips after a win. <laughs> that's how we celebrate. I know. That's how we celebrate lays chips. That looks like a mini bag, too. It doesn't even yeah. look like I know. Uh, he's going all out. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, that was a fun time. <laughs> that month, it might have been the funnest month of my life. I mean, for us, we wanted Duke to win the ACC regular season. 
went to win the uh, ACC tournament in DC, went all the way to the national championship. It was crazy. I mean, it was it was such a good time. But <laughs> my dad, from day one, he was like, the "College will be the best four years of your life." And those are those are the memories that I'm glad are still on there that we can just look at. I mean, we probably got me we got millions of stories that we have. It's, that's, that's why Instagram is what it is, so we can have those memories. Yeah, man, and we got some more down the way. <laughs> like this one. Everyone knows about Band Day here. Oh my gosh. You <laughs> said this ball fly. Yes. <laughs> Everyone at the camp started calling him Band Day Head and was dying. My man traveled. I was like, Band Day, why, why you have a Band Aid on your forehead? What happened, man? Then he came back both years. He came back multiple years after that. It was amazing. Everybody <laughs> thought that was my son. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen this kid since? Not since I left Carolina, but every year after this, he came back to that same camp. Man. And he and I thought, I was like, I kept telling him, I said, listen, in the off season, I need you to do some off season conditioning, okay? So we're ready for camp next year. <laughs> His shoes are never tied. So Band Aid is a legend. If I put Band-Aid Head on my story right now, everyone would blow up like, please tell me you're with him. So what's great about this is, is looking even deeper into this is that this could be very pivotal for him where it may be a goal for him to eventually come back and dunk on you or oh, dunk yeah. on somebody. So I this is like, so, this is cool yeah. to see how it could play out. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? So if you're out there watching, we need some updated video. We want to see a dunk. Exactly. We want to know if you're over six feet tall, yeah. what you got going on. Just let man. me know when you're in Brooklyn. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> How's your golf game? Here you are, Coach Roy. Apparently not <laughs> good. Look how I'm holding the club. <laughs> Who holds the club like that? And look at Coach. You can tell he's been there before. Oh, I mean, it's just two legendary guys right there. That's what it looked like. <laughs> it's a great pick. You are kind of holding it like it's a, yeah, yeah, a cane. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that was a fun day, though. Now, if this video was put out today, mm. this would go everywhere, I feel like. Yeah. Like talking hundreds of thousands of things, <laughs> man. That was good days. That's when I was trying to dunk everything. <laughs> every single thing. Nowadays, you gotta, you gotta save those. <laughs> Can't do it every time. And looking back, the letters that you got yeah. from colleges during the recruitment period Crazy. and just knowing where you are right now mm -hmm. as you're in this moment presently. I'm just looking at these, man. Yeah. It's nuts. It's unbelievable. I mean, just the, being wanted was nice. You know what I'm saying? Just going through the whole AU circuit and knowing that guys would, wanted you to come to their school. It was fun. The best part about it, everything happens for, for a reason. For a reason, exactly. Not to sound cliche, but we're here oh, right does. now, so exactly. shoot, you made the perfect choice. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's crazy. How crazy is this? So you're basically watching LeBron James talk at the Skills Academy, correct? Mm -hmm. And now you're on the same court as him. He's crazy. Playing against him. Yeah. Puts in perspective. That picture and then in China, I'm over there guarding him full speed coming down hill right at me. So, I mean, it's... Cool moments like that, man. I mean, just blessing to be here. Yeah. Blessing to be here. I love your humbleness. Yeah. That's another thing that, like, mm -hmm. learning quickly is that always, oh, like, that fun, smiling, happy, mm -hmm. positive energy, but your humbleness is, is, is amazing. Yeah. Don't take anything for granted. So, <laughs> you get to the NBA. Yeah. And night one, mm -hmm. game one, you choose one of the biggest dudes in the league know, to try right? to go over. I know, right? Just that alone. I thought I missed I it. I love. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I missed it. I mean, that was just like a big bowl to lift off my shoulders. Uh -huh. I mean, once the ball went in, I was like, now you can just go play basketball. I let the game come to you. So, uh, that, was a, that was a big moment. Made for you got the time up there and everything. Too. Last couple, you got a chance to meet J. Cole yeah. while at UNC. Mm -hmm. Where would you say he ranks in terms of the, the music artists or bands that you listen to? Hey, he's from North Carolina, so mm -hmm. got to support. His music is always good in my eyes. I mean, he gives you a, a steady dose of everything. If you want a little slow down, I'm actually going to listen to his music when I go home today. You, you convinced me. All right, all right. <laughs> well, you convinced me to try to pick yeah. up one of these jerseys because this picture is sweet. Yes. And staying on the music topic, Chance the Rapper, I mm -hmm. see you got his hat. Chance has grown on me in the past year and a half. I've been listening to him a lot more now. That was planned. Everyone wanted to wear a baseball jersey, so we was like, all right, 
the Raised one and the Pirates one were yeah, sweet too. Yeah, tough. Very tough. We see all these fun posts, and again, we can tell that you're just like a dude who loves to always have a good time. Mm. What would you say is your favorite part about using these platforms and, and, and showing your personality? Yeah, I mean, biggest thing for me is just showing that we're like everyday people. I mean, we we are paid to play basketball, but we've worked to get here. And um, people wonder, like, if I go back to a Carolina basketball game, there's, nothing's changing. I'll still be jumping up and down, cheering and stuff like that. And people are like, you're in the NBA, you act a certain, no, it's not like that. We're, we're regular people, we, we talk about the same stuff everybody else does, we have fun. And NBA players, NFL players, all who play sports, even Barack Obama, guys like, mm -hmm. people like that. I mean, they show that they're regular people and they can, they care about stuff too. And we just spent like the last 10 minutes laughing, so yeah. I don't think anybody at home yeah. really needs a reason as to why you should follow Dio on Instagram and on Twitter, but <laughs> now's the time for the plug. Yeah. Why should the people at home follow you? You're gonna always smile. I bring positive vibes. I think everyone loves positive vibes. That's my motto. You bring positive vibes, you're good in my book. All right, time to go turn on that J. Cole, shoot the sky, follow. Exactly. We're looking forward to more push, man. I appreciate it. <laughs>